In this video, we're going to be talking about three new grants that you can apply for now. A $2,500 grant, a $5,000 grant, and up to $100,000 in grants. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Rindy from Ash Rindy, and welcome to the number one community for real estate, income, and credit. So if you'd like to know what these three new grants are, one for $2,500, one for $5,000, and up to $100,000 in business grants, make sure you watch the video to the end and leave a comment below if you need help with anything. Number one, Chicago, Illinois, the Founders First Job Creators Quest Grant, up to $100,000 in grants. So this is the second time that I'm actually reviewing this grant source, and we've included them in our resource area because they're a great resource for small businesses. So the application for the 2022 Founders First Job Creators Quest Grant for Chicago is now open. Founders First is a national nonprofit organization with locations in Chicago, Southern California, Philadelphia, New Jersey, and also Texas. So they've announced this new round of grant funding for minority entrepreneurs in the Chicago area. And the goal with these grants is to help underrepresented entrepreneurs, to encourage premium wage job growth, and to help founders of minority-owned companies in low to moderate income areas. So ultimately, the founders' goals is to create an inclusive economy where minority-owned Chicago businesses can thrive, scale, and also create jobs. So for this grant, there's going to be a total of $30,000 in grants, and 10 grants will be given out to companies that have 2 to 20 employees and revenues of $100,000 to $3 million annually. And the great thing about the Founders First Job Creators Quest Grant is that it's paired with a business accelerator program, which helps businesses to be able to learn how to scale and also grow their business. Businesses. So ultimately, when it comes to grants and it comes to actually building business credit, you really need to be able to have a good handle on sales. That's something that we're really, really big at in the academy that we teach our students in our master classes how to actually learn how to grow your business in sales. This is very key. A lot of people actually talk about grants and basically how to find grants. But one of the things that people don't realize, specifically when you're a small business and an entrepreneur, you need to know how to actually generate sales. It's so important because without that, you don't have a business. Without generating money, you don't have a business. You just really have maybe a thought, a process, or a hobby, and you're not really generating and materializing and have found someone who's willing to pay you for that service or that product or that need that you feel like you're fulfilling. So this expansion for Founders First was facilitated by $9 million in Series A financing from the Rockefeller Foundation and also the Cerdner Foundation. So to qualify, there are a few qualifications. Number one, your business must be located within the Chicagoland area, specifically the counties of Cook, DuPage, Kane, Lake, McHenry, and also Will. In addition to that, your business must have between 2 to 20 employees. You also must be able to add between 1 to 2 new premium wage jobs within the next 12 months. Another important criteria is that these grants are for service-based businesses, so light manufacturing, B2B services. Your business must have a service component to it. Also, another very important criteria of the company is that the founder of the company must be minority-derived, black, indigenous, or a person of color. Also, veterans and also women are applicable for this grant. In addition to that, your company must have annual revenues of no less than $100,000 up to $3 million in revenue. You also must provide a narrative in a 90-second video on your business, which we teach you how to do in our grants masterclass. So the narrative should describe how your business was impacted by the pandemic and how it's affected your business negatively. As I've shared previously, many grant sources now are looking for proof and they want to really see how the pandemic truly affected your business so that it can actually give you the funds. In addition to that, they want you to be able to provide information on how you're going to be using the funds when you receive the funds. They also want you to provide financial documentation to verify revenues and also your current employee count. And also, they want you to participate in one of the Founders First Accelerator programs at a discounted rate. So as I've shared previously, that's the difference with this grant. They actually put you into a, an accelerator program because they want you to be able to learn how to be able to grow and scale your business. So the benefit here is that you're going to be able to get into one of those business accelerator programs at a discounted rate. You also must agree to documentation that will show how you plan to add one to two premium wage jobs over the next 12 months. So this is very key for this grant, and that's why it's called a Job Creators Quest Grant, because the whole premise of the grant is on creating jobs. So to apply for this grant, you can simply go to their website at foundersforcdc.org. So there will be a total of $100,000 given to 30 businesses in the Chicago area. 
and the money will be used primarily for creating jobs, but also to be able to provide companies with cash infusion and operating capital to keep their businesses and their doors open. So you can start your application by simply going to the application page and filling out your name, your company email, your phone number, your company name, and also your zip code where your company is located within the counties that I shared earlier. You're also actually going to need to fill out information on when your company was founded, your number of employees, your revenues, so they can get a snapshot of your company to see if you qualify and you're a good fit for this particular grant. So the application deadline is February 4th. You can also email them at chicago.jobcreators at foundersforcdc.org with any questions on the Job Creators Quest Grant. So it's important to keep in mind with a grant like this, there will be a review of spend and you need to know what your business objectives are and how you're going to create jobs over the next 12 months. So we actually show you how to prepare for grants like this and how to position yourself to successfully win grants like this in our Grants Masterclass. So make sure you check that out by going to my website, ashwinia.com, clicking on Grants and getting started today. So far, the Founders First Job Creators Quest Grant has created over 300 jobs, served over 454 companies, and provided over $21 million in funding. Number two, Maui County, Hawaii. $5,000 in grants. So the Maui County Credit Union and their partners have recently announced the Maui County Small Business Grant Program. And this is a new grant program aimed at helping restaurants, bars, and gyms in Maui County. So many of these businesses have been negatively affected by the pandemic. Some have either closed down or have been struggling to keep their doors open. So these grants are going to be coming in handy in helping them with operational costs and whether that's hiring new employees, getting new equipment, etc. And these grants are meant to go to the hardest hit businesses, businesses that can demonstrate a 25% decline in gross revenue from 2019 to 2020. In addition to that, they have a list of qualifying criteria that the businesses must meet in order to be able to get these $5,000 grants, which include the businesses must be actively registered with the state of Hawaii. In addition to that, the business must have less than $2 million in revenue from 2020. Also, you must have a current lease or rent agreement and a commercial location in the county of Maui. And when it comes to your lease for this grant, they actually want a canceled check of one month proving that you actually made that payment for the lease space that you're claiming that you actually have. Also for this application, they want you to actually certify that you actually run commercial operations within Maui. Also for this grant, there's only one grant per applicant and there's also one grant per owner. Meaning that if you have an owner that has multiple businesses, they're only gonna give one grant per owner. They also may be issuing a 1099, so you wanna make sure that you actually consult with your tax professional when it comes to tax time and preparing your business for taxes. So to apply for this grant, you can go directly to their website at mauinuistrong.info and you can actually start the application process there. It's going to take you to an application smart sheet where you can actually fill out your business name, your EIN, your Hawaii GET number, your business type, your entity type, your current open days, uh, days that you're actually your operations is open, when your business was established, your registered owner's name, your business address, your business email, occupancy status, business phone number, and also owner's information and social security numbers. They're also going to ask you for gross revenue information for 2019 and also 2020. So these $5,000 grants, if awarded, are free money. They do not have to be paid back. They do not have to be reimbursed. These are going to be monies for these companies to be able to do what they need to to keep their businesses solvent and continue to go and grow forward. Number three, Santa Clara, California, $2,500 in grants. So the County of Santa Clara in California has received about $2.4 million in grant money from the California Micro Business Relief Grant Program. So the pandemic has taken a significant toll on these businesses and their employees. And as micro businesses, these businesses are owned by minority owners, non-documented immigrants, and also owners in rural communities. So these grants are meant to help these businesses that have been adversely affected by the pandemic. And they're meant to help them with operational costs such as payroll, rent, utilities, and also hiring if, in cases where they can. So the grants will be administered by the Enterprise Foundation, and the goal is to provide $2,500 grants to 875 businesses. Now, the great thing about this grant is that almost every entrepreneur that's been negatively affected in that location can apply for this grant, from sidewalk vendors to independent contractors to small businesses. As long as your business has less than five employees in 2019 and 2020, and your revenues were less than $50,000, you can actually apply for this grant. So they're still in the process of setting up the grant funding application process and they will be making an announcement in the coming weeks. 
So expect an announcement from Enterprise Foundation. You can get more information on this grant and updates on when it will be released by going to the county's website at secgov.org. So as a reminder, our grant program is now open. You can also join us for our grants masterclass, where we teach you how to get grants consistently, how to position yourself for grants, and how to apply for grants properly. So if you'd like to actually join us for our masterclass, please feel free to go to my website, askfreedy.com, click on grants, and get started today. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me. My email address is askreenynetwork at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Till next time, thank you so much for watching.